words of Sri Aurobindo from the book The Mother with letters on the mother by our Lord page 19 the four powers of the mother are four of her outstanding personalities portions and embodiments of her divinity through whom she acts on her creatures orders and harmonizes her creations in the worlds and directs the working out of her thousand forces for the mother is one but she comes before us with different aspects many her uh, powers and personalities many her emanations and vibhutis that do her work in the universe the one whom we adore as the mother is the divine conscious force that dominates all existence one and yet so many sided that to follow her movement is impossible even for the quickest mind and for the freest and most vast intelligence the mother is the consciousness and force of the supreme and far above all she creates but something of her ways can be seen and felt through her embodiments and the more seizable because more defined and limited temperament and action of the goddess forms in her she consents to be manifest to her creatures there are three ways of being of the mother of which you can become aware when you enter into touch of oneness with the conscious force that upholds us and the universe transcendent the original supreme shakti she stands above the worlds and links the creation to the ever unmanifest mystery of the supreme universal the cosmic mahashakti she creates all these beings and contains and enters and supports and conducts all these million processes and forces individual she embodies the power of these two vaster ways of her existence makes them living and near to us and mediates between the human personality and the divine nature the one original transcendent shakti the mother stands above all the worlds and bears in her eternal consciousness the supreme divine alone she harbors the absolute power and the ineffable presence containing or calling the truths that have to be manifested she brings them down from the mystery in which they were hidden into the light of her infinite consciousness and gives them a form of force in her omnipotent power and her boundless life and a body in the universe the supreme is manifest in her forever as the everlasting sachidananda manifested through her in the worlds as the one and dual consciousness of ikshvara shakti and the dual principle of purusha prakriti embodied by her in the worlds and the planes and the gods and their energies and figured because of her as all that is in the known worlds and in unknown others all is her play with the supreme all is her manifestation of the mysteries of the eternal the miracles of the infinite all is she 
for all are parcel and portion of the divine conscious force nothing can be here or elsewhere but what she decides and the supreme sanctions nothing can take shape except what she moved by the supreme perceives and forms after casting it into seed in her creating ananda the maha shakti the universal mother works out whatever is transmitted by her transcendent consciousness from the supreme and enters into the worlds that she has made her presence fills and supports them with the divine spirit and the divine all sustaining force and delight without which they could not exist that which we call nature or prakriti is only her most outward executive aspect she marshals and arranges the harmony of her forces and processes impels the operations of nature and moves among them secret or manifest in all that can be seen or experienced or put into motion of life each of the worlds is nothing but one play of the maha shakti of that system of worlds or universe who is there as the cosmic soul and personality of the transcendent mother each is something that she has seen in her vision gathered into her heart of beauty and power and created in her ananda but there are many planes of her creation many steps of the divine shakti at the summit of this manifestation of which we are a part there are worlds of infinite existence consciousness force and bliss over which the mother stands as the unveiled eternal power all beings there live and move in an ineffable completeness and unalterable oneness because she carries them safe in her arms forever nearer to us are the worlds of a perfect supramental creation in which the mother is the supramental maha shakti a power of divine omniscient will and omnipotent knowledge always apparent in its unfailing works and spontaneously perfect in every process there all movements are the steps of the truth there all beings are souls and powers and bodies of the divine light their own experiences are seas and floods and waves of an intense and absolute ananda but here where we dwell are the worlds of the ignorance worlds of the mind and life and body separated in consciousness from their source of which this earth is a significant center and its evolution a crucial process this too with all its obscurity and struggle and imperfection is upheld by the universal mother this too is impelled and guided towards secret aim by the maha shakti